Hello, welcome in this another tutorial of ERP SAP team. Today we are going to discuss how can we execute the SAP reports in background. Okay. Suppose we have to extract the mass data and the data is big in the size, then it's a recommendation to you all that please execute that T code in the background and it will save a lot of time okay because during that time your background job is processed in the server okay in the background for example uh, there is a transaction code AR02 which is extraction of the asset register in your business area or in your company if the there is one lakh asset in your company and you want to extract all the data at the same time in the same file then it's a big data okay if you want to uh, extract the data in the command window and uh, wait for the execution time of that this transaction code then it will be time consuming maybe it will be crashed it will be giving you a b a b runtime error then it's preferable that execute this these such type of the report in your background okay okay so click on the continue immediate execution you can schedule on any date or time you can schedule after event you can schedule at operation mode i'm just scheduling this job immediate okay so once you save a background processing has been saved okay and uh, background job was scheduled for program rsaitt underscore alv01 okay a job has been scheduled now you can do your routine work till the report get executed okay so here there is a transaction code sm37 you can check the status of your background job execution okay here you need to click schedule release ready active finished cancel see our background job has finished start date start time duration 10 second okay you can click on this pool and tick on this and click on this ABAP list okay only one two page 10 is going to display see okay and you can go in the setting mode you can go in the setting mode from first page to last page our last page is page number 18 so you can maintain the last page up to 18 okay system will give you the warning displaying 18 page would cause a memory overflow you can ignore this you can ignore this okay now you can get extract this data in the excel file from here save to local file okay and click on the spreadsheet you can give the path where you want to save your data okay where you want to save your data see okay hope you understand how can you save your data in the local file you can generate this data okay allow And you can get the Excel data as per the requirement, okay? And you can analysis this data. But our main suggestion, once you execute the job in the background, SAP job in the background, you can save your time. Because, for example, if you want to extract the some data which is required on the next day, so 
at the end of hour of the time at the closing hour of the office time you can uh, schedule your job okay once uh, tomorrow once you will join the office then you can just go in sm37 you can check your background job status finished you can extract the data and uh, start the work again okay so this is the way how you can execute the job sap job in the background this is a very beautiful tool of sap okay and uh, generally people are preferring to execute the sap jobs in background for the heavy data okay thank you for watching this sap tutorial if you have any query in your mind please mention in the comment section have a good day happy learning